Hey, what's up? Happy Mother's Day. Happy Sunday. V here checking in for the next episode of Purchase or Pass with my husband, Mr. Shorty C94. Just waiting for him to hop in so we can get started. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. It is seven o'clock, right? Okay. Okay. Just waiting for Chris to hop in so we can get started with the show. Everybody have a good Mother's Day. That's always the hope, right? A relaxing Mother's Day. We can turn off being a mom for at least a minute, right? Hey, Danny. Danny, I need you to be on. Um, I need you to be on Lady Sneaker Conversations this month. I'm gonna DM you when this is over with. Okay, so I think he's joining now. What's up, Jay Van? Hello. Hey. Is the light on? It's dark. It was a gloomy yeah. day today. Yeah. It's messing with the um the light in the house because it's gloomy today. But anyway, um. Welcome everybody hopping in. Love Jones, Crazy Cool Paris, LeVon Jefferson 3. Welcome. Um, happy Mother's Day to all who are mothers, aunts, grandmas, cousins. Anybody playing a motherly role, you are appreciated. So um, before we hop into releases for this week, like we always do, we talk about Last week, what we went for, what we were able to secure. Um, you want to start us off, Christopher? What did you get from last week? Uh, you won the tree lines for me. You know, thank you, tree line Air Max one. Yeah, that was a um, a good release. I'm uh, excited to see them in person. Um, I haven't seen them in person yet. They seem to be pretty solid quality hey earl thank you thanks ash um they seem to be good quality and they look nice on the picture so we'll see it wasn't something i had to have so i did pass on those but i'm glad you were able to win a pair um i did end up going for those pink dunks and i am happy to report that i was able to secure a pair through sneakers um i've been wanting those since october and it took forever for sneakers to Nike to finally drop them. Um, I had entered raffles at several other retailers and did not secure a pair. So I'm really excited to get that pink pair of dunks. Um, also last week, the Pure Violet, um, my 11s came in. I actually ended up winning two pairs. I won a pair for uh, Foot Locker and a pair through sneakers. So I'm a return one. They certainly not a pair I need to have two of, but... I'm looking forward to um, wearing those. I'll probably break those out when we go to Baltimore in a couple weeks for the sneaker exhibit. Yeah. And then um, last week, Nike kind of out of the blue dropped a bunch of colorways of the Fly East shoes. Um, like a lot of different colorways. And I was able to secure a pair. So this was the 
first pair that I ever saw of these. Um, so I was able to get a pair. And of course, these are the fly ease. So you just slide your foot in and it pops back up. Um, so new technology. It's happy to get a pair of these. So I do kind of wish I would want a half size up. They're a little snug. But other than that, they're good. Hey, Tasia. Well, it's hopped in here. Hey, Key. Um, C3 Custom Detailing, Tommy Big Shoes. She loves Kicks 843. Welcome, welcome. All right, so that's it. And then today, because it is Mother's Day, I did work out my one pair of my Kyrie Mom. So this is the Air and Earth, Air and Wind, something. I can't remember what they are. Um, I think Air and Earth um, pairs. So I wore those today, Undead Stock. Those in honor of mother's day um so yeah what did you wear today it wasn't a it's probably the last hoodie day we're gonna have for a long time so i just wore the tomb squad converse hoodie i came up on during black history month and um, one of the space jam chucks oh yeah the 70s right yeah, is something cooking? That is the washing machine. Isaac is doing laundry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you can hear that. It's not that loud. But okay. All right, so let's hop into releases for this week. So today, um, Adidas dropped the Harden Volume 6 in red, black, and white for $140. Um, the volume six hard is not a shoe that I like, so definitely passing on those. I should have just made him more of these. <sighs> yeah, those are better. Yeah, the um, the Harden five is the only Harden I've ever wanted. I've never had the pleasure of owning a Harden shoe, but these will be a um, just a simple bounce pass. <laughs> <Either>. <laughs> Okay, so then, um, hey, Black Tom Hagen. Um, for Monday, there is nothing dropping that I saw. Tuesday, Adidas is releasing a bunch of those uh, Eminem Forum 84 lows. So we saw the yellow pair came out a little while ago and dropped. It was on the confirmed app. These are just dropping, I believe, on regular the regular Adidas app. Um, there is a brown and white pair, an orange and white pair, red and white, green and white, and the yellow pair again. Um, those are $140 each. I do not like any of them, so I will be passing on all of them. Yeah, these are also a pass for me as well. Um, I love M&Ms. You know this, but I just don't like them yeah i don't like how they came out um i feel like adidas probably does like the worst job when it comes to these like collabs and stuff so i wasn't surprised that i did not like them and just an m m shoe is not something i need you generally don't like form lows anyway so i don't think there's anything that really could have done to these for you to be like yeah i want those so that is the washing machine still going. Yes, the washing machine. I'm like 10, 15 feet from it. That is the washing machine. Do you want me to pause the washing machine? Nah, you know, I, yeah, I mean, nah, it's, it's cool. What's up, everybody joining? Um, yeah, uh, nah. Yes, and D, rather unique. Welcome. The of um, forms I have are those APB forms. The lows. Yeah, if they were high, I'd be more interested. Yeah. Hello, Belly Be Cooking. Um, so we got also the Nike Dunk Low Cider is dropping on the sneakers app for $110. This is a dark brown and a dark green shoe. Hey, Royal the Third. Um, $110. Um, I'll pass on those. It's not something I need to have. Do you want those? What is it? The Nike Dunk Low Insider 
It's a uh, brown and dark green. Maybe 20 years ago. Not now. Thank you, Royal III. Um, yeah, I'll be passing on those as well. Nike Dunk Low Next Nature in medium olive. Um, I don't like these Next Nature Dunks. They like the toasty dunks or whatever. Um, this is medium olive with an orange swoosh. They're $110. I'll be passing on those. Hey, Carl. Yeah, we've talked about these before. Um, they were passed for me then to another shoe that I would have been on in 2002 or 2003. Yeah. Um, the LeBron 19 is releasing in siren red and laser blue. Now, I heard you say you kind of like these. They're a really um, nice shade of red. They are $200 in adult sizes. They are they are releasing grade school sizes. I can't remember how much they are for grade school. Um, what, what are your thoughts? You going to try to get a pair? Yeah, if Swoosh comes through with that Nike discount, that's the only way. You know what I mean? I'm not paying $200 for any LeBron that's not the uniform hook or some old shit that I missed years ago. So, yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know, man. A LeBron, it, it's – it's he's not like Kobe where it's like I really only care about the, the Kobe's that he played in. It's not to that level, but, you know, I don't know. I feel like I've I've got the best two. I got the black and red ones, and we both had the uniform hooks. So, eh, hey, how those bronze fit? Are they similar to the nines or tens? Sort of, sort of. D rather unique, but not completely. Okay. What's up, thank you, Carl? Hey, T, um, and thank you, Carl. All right. So then, also releasing is the Jordan One Zoom Comfort. We've talked about this before. This is anthracite. Is the colorway. Um, but these are the ones you refer to as the mullet shoes. They're black and white in the front and in the back, they are yellow, pink, and teal. Um, so they're $140. They've pushed them back a couple times. So now they are supposed to be coming out on Tuesday, the 10th. Um, I passed before and I will be passing again. Yeah. I mean, party in the front. Business, I mean, business in the front, party in the back. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's not been my day today. But shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to my lovely wife here. I appreciate y'all showing her Mother's Day love and happy Mother's Day to all out there. Yeah. Um, thanks. Yeah. Um, nah. I mean. Yeah, I'm passing on those two. Um, and then the creme de la creme that's supposed to be releasing on the 10th. Now, I have not seen these on the sneakers app. I don't know where the hell they are dropping. But the Hello Kitty Nike Air Presto is supposed to be dropping for $140. I have to do my research and figure out where they're going to be at. Definitely a shoe I will be trying to cop, hopefully for retail, because I'm not trying to pay two dollars $300 for a Presto. It's just not happening. Creme de la creme, homie. Like Tia said. <laughs> Shorty, you look tired. Well, thank you, Shulius. Um, it's been a very, very long day, long couple of days. But I am also going to try to get these and get my Hello Kitty on. Okay. Uh, Tasia said they released it on the Hello Kitty site only. Okay. So I got uh, a notification. Oh, I can't uh, go on there. I won't have them. Okay. Well, I'm going to try for real uh, you actually want these though yeah I would like to have a pair look I'm not going to break my neck or cry or something if I don't get them but I'm, I'm going to try to get them because I know the price of them is just going to be ridiculous I'm, and then they'll be unattainable so I'm going to at least try please man I never thought it would be like this man. yeah all right, so that is it for Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday, we have the Air Max 97 Off Noir, which is a matte black with a white sole for $200. Listen, so we try to report everything, right? But I'm tired of this Off Noir shit. I'm tired of it. You know what I mean? It was the same thing with those fucking forces. Like, why is this a thing? Why are they more buddy? 
I don't know, maybe this the materials or maybe they're better quality allegedly. I have no idea, but I am not a fan of said off noir, so I will be passing. They are all two hundred dollars and they'll be on the, the sneakers app. So this is one of them passes where I'm coming I'm a magic coming down the lane. Like one time he's playing against the Spurs and he like took the ball like this and went like that. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of them kind of passes. You know what I'm saying? Like just just you know. Make a nigga look stupid. Just whoop, you know. So, nah. <laughs> I don't like him. And also on Wednesday, the 11th, the Jordan 6 Midnight Navy is dropping for $200. Multiple retailers have them. Uh, Foot Locker has their raffle open. I believe Champs as well. Um, but these will be dropping on sneakers on the same day. Um, I know where you stand. I will be passing on these. You are the priority. So I will be uh, waiting. I will be uh, getting those for you. Entering all raffles for you. I've already started. Well. Well. Um, yeah, I got to have these, man. I mean, I want these even more than I wanted the UNC sixes and I still don't have them. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a historic shoe and my sneaker journey lineage. I did a lot in these shoes in the early 2000s, you know, from age 20 to probably 25. They were always in the rotation. A lot of rock wear worn with that navy blue. So, you know, but oh, man. I've already, you know, got in my mind, like, you know, nigga, you may not get these. So, you know, I'm not going to go to pieces. I will be disappointed, but, um, Usually, you know, pre-pandemic. Yeah, Jay-Z purchased them in the diary, too. Good looks. D rather unique. I remember that. He he was still going to the store back then. I had it already bagged up for him. I remember that, too. You know. But, um, yeah, I, I need these. You know. It's a six on top of everything else. So. And that is why you are the priority with getting these shoes. Actually, I mean, I don't have anything against them. I just, it's not a shoe that I need. So. I don't have a problem with taking a back seat and ensuring that you um, get a pair. Yeah. All right. So that is it for Wednesday. Thursday, quite a bit coming out. Um, jound. And it, is it j -j 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 Jound or is it just Jound? Thank you, Nick. I really <laughs> Um, collab with New Balance. Thanks, Rydell. Um, 990 V3 in brown and black is supposed to be dropping for $250. Certainly passing on those. This isn't even a pass. This is actually something you said to me earlier. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, Rydell, I'm getting... Well, I'd like to purchase those sixes, but yeah. <laughs> you know, as far as... <laughs> I'm I'm intrigued by, you know, collabs with stuff like Jound and Joe Fresh Goods and all that, but I just don't like those 990 shoes. I just don't like them. If it's not yeah. a 997, 998, 999, nah, man. You know, I'm, I just missed that wave. I'm not from the DMV. I just, I don't get it. Nobody was rocking them back in the day, except for doctors, old white dudes, dudes from the DMV. Oh, Carl, I got some S dots in the cut. A couple pairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guess those are on the list too, huh? Are you gonna hit me with the basketball card? Okay. All right. She hit me with the basketball card smile, y'all. Y'all see that? That's what we call in this house the basketball card smile. Be fake as hell. All right. So, um, A Cold Wall is releasing their next collab with Converse, Aeon Active CX. Um, the other colorway, colorway released before the Black Pair is releasing this time. They are $160, and they will be on the Sneakers app. Are you going to be trying for these? Fuck no. Wow. Okay. It was only the first color. That black and yellow, that... that that just looks like some mess. So, you know, it kills me to say this about Converse, but I can't get those. I just need them gray ones with the orange, with the print on the side, but 
I don't even know what they're going for. What's up, ILAP38? They're 160. Purchase or pass first. Fuck no. <laughs> it's not a first, but okay. You said fuck um, no. Maybe last week when we was mad about the Kobe's, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Like I've said that before then too. But fuck um no. we got two pairs of Air Max 90s coming out. The lemon drop pair um is court purple, gray, and yellow. Really like purple though. Um, certainly not a pair that I need to have. They are one hundred and forty dollars. And then the Ridge Rock pair is releasing. They are turbo green, gold, and what appears to be Bordeaux, kind of a purpley reddish color. Um, they're also $140. I will be passing on those, but I believe you want one of those pairs. The second pair. And no, Ronnell, I only want the first color of those Aon CX Converse. But... um. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would like to have them, but some shit I can see and get returned to Nike, so I get it for the low. Yeah. Um, the but, Air Max VW uh, and Marina is releasing. Um, they got pushed back a couple times, so um, they are now supposed to be releasing on the 12th. Finally, they have been out with other retailers for a while. I've had my pair for well over a month, so um, they're pairs out there but they will be dropping on sneakers for $130. Are you going to try to get them or yes. what are you doing? Yes, you're going to try to get them, okay? Yeah, you know. Marry the marinas with the Persian blue so it could be like 5th grade, you know what I'm saying? So. All right. And the Nike Dunk Low in Team Red will be releasing um, for $100, $100. This is a uh, darker, maroonish kind of burgundy red. Um, I, it's not a shoe I need to have, so I'll be passing on those. Yeah, me too. I mean, I got the regular um, St. John's red and white dunks from 2003. I'm just going to ride those out into the sunset. So. Okay. What's up, also Keith? Also releasing is the uh, Women's Nike Dunk Low Next Nature in Team Red. So this is a more brighter, vibrant red for $105. Uh, both of those dunks are dropping on sneakers. I will be passing on those as well. Yeah, I mean. And then the Nike Air Griffey Max 1 Alternate. Um is aqua black and white will be dropping for one hundred and seventy dollars. I will be passing on those as well. Magic to worthy slam dunk. All right, so that is it for Thursday. Moving into Friday, the Nike ACG Air Mata is releasing three colorways of that shoe. There's an all black pair, a black and teal pair, and a black and vachetta tan pair. They are $130 each. They all will be dropping on the sneakers app. Um, nothing I need to have right away. I think I'll try to get that black and teal pair if I can get some love on them. But other than that, not something I need to have. You know, I want that tan pair. I remember them from 10th grade, you know. But that is also a shoe that I could see getting returned to Nike. That is a shoe I could see just sitting on the site. Like, I don't think it's going to sell out. So, I don't think a lot of people have memory of it like you do. So Yeah, it's it's not something I have to have for even $130. That's a less than $80 shoe. So, hopefully yeah. it'll bomb out like most uh, ACG shoes that aren't the Moab do. And I'll be able to get them for cheap later. That's the hope. Okay. But not on release. Yeah, same. Um, the Air Max 90 Premium in Gem Red is releasing for $150. Um, not a shoe that I need to have. It appears to be um, suede upper, um, which is why it's a little bit more and probably referred to as premium. I will be passing on those. Yeah, nah, nothing... Yeah. Nothing I got to 
Um, the Nike Air Trainer 1 in Chlorophyll is supposed to be dropping on Friday for $120. Um, these have been out for, a, right, allegedly. Um, these have been out for a little while. They dropped several places overseas. So um, there's pairs out there. So $120. Um, is that a shoe that you want or need to get or no? My 2012 pair is still in really good shape. This pair is a little closer to the uh, original. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know if I have to have another pair um, of these. Yeah. I, I don't, so we'll just table that one or put a pin in that one. I, I don't know. I mean, how much are they going to do? 120? Yeah. Mm, not that bad. That's yeah. a game time decision, but probably... Okay. Yeah, game time. Again, if they drop. Um, the Nike Dunk Low Toasty is dropping in blue and gray. Um, the swoosh is black on these. $120, not something I need to have. I'm not a fan of the Toasties in the low form. I have one pair of Toasties, but I don't know. It's just not something that I have gravitated towards. Again, $110. Are you passing on those? I'm tired of all these Dunks, man. Yeah, they're not even good. <laughs> There's too many of them. Shit. Yeah. The Nike Offline 2.0 is dropping for $130. Um, the regular Offline looks like a sleeping bag for your foot. This Offline is a sandal. Um, so this pair that's dropping is white, orange, light purple, not something I need to have. I will be passing on those. I do not like them at all. This is such a hard pass. Again, this is one of those Laker fast breaks where it's Scott to Magic to where. The... Yeah. Yeah, like, huh, huh, huh. you know, just, just constant ball movement. Pass, pass, pass. Get it out of here. Like, I don't even know how they make shit like this. Yeah, I feel you. Um, Stussy is supposed to be releasing a Nike Air Force One mid in black, gray, and white. Um, do not know the price, and I don't believe they'll actually be dropping on the 13th. They'll probably get pushed back. But they are releasing them in men's gray schools and toddler sizes. I do not see a price. So um, we will see where to come with that. Mm. Full family in this, uh, well, it's not full family. I didn't say preschool, but yeah, men's grade school and toddler, huh? Yeah, yeah, I gotta see how that comes out because if it's, I don't know, I'm gonna sound like a ridiculous, it's gotta say Stussy on it, man. It can't just have a little eyelet or a little trinket, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta stay Stussy on it like the last pairs did, you know. They gotta know it's like buying a pair of polo shirt for. $200, like, man, you got to see a horse or a flag or something. You know, it can't just be implied that it's a polo shirt. You know, they have to know. So, the same thing yeah. with these stupid horses. Because we paid extra for that collab. That's why I don't like the CDG small heart. If I'm paying $150 for a chuck, you don't see this damn heart. Yeah. So, you like the polo with the big horses then? That was nice in the 2000s when it was a new thing. We've talked about this. So I like how you slipped that in there like this. Of course not. That's like mm -hmm. buying the fucking white and yellow 13s. That's some hood nigga shit. It's fine. That's just not for me. That's not my audience anymore. I was that at one point, but it's been a long time. Mm-hmm. All right. So also releasing on Friday is a Billionaire Boys Club Collab with Reebok, the Zig Connected 2, and Digi Camo. So it looks like an 8 bit video game with Camo for $150. I'll be passing on those. I guess I should applaud Reebok for doing another collab without it being an Iverson shoe or a club C. Yeah. A collab that's not a club C or an Iverson. A question. So. You know, but Zig Connecticut, what is that like? What is it, about 200, 250, some shit like that? It's only 150. 
Ah, oh, okay. Usually it's in Connecticut. If it's a collab, it's usually over 200, but nah. Nah, it'll be at the outlet. Three yeah. to six months, probably three months. Yeah, they always end up at the outlet. <laughs> it was like four different Zig Connecticut's the last time we were there. Yeah. All right, so that's it for Friday. Moving into Saturday, the uh, Boston collab with Adidas on the Farm 84 Low. Um, the Panathenica. Panathenikos, I don't know. They're $120. Um, we talked about these last week. They're named after some international basketball team that nobody cares about. Um, I guess they won. Forms. Huh? The Celtics looking for them with the, with the clover on it? Yeah. They're about supposed those. to drop on the 14th now. Yeah. Um, Adidas, I'll be passing if that wasn't clear. Adidas uh, skateboarding collab um with jamal smith whoever that is um atomatic it is black and orange and it is a hundred dollars i will be definitely passing on those i'm not a skateboarder what is the model is it a nizza it's called an atomatic oh oh yeah you did you did say that nah nah this is one of the ones i, I didn't get to see but i don't even like the sound of it so it's a pass anyway fuck it mm-hmm now, allegedly, I don't have any confidence that this is releasing either. The Clot Jordan 5 Low in Black Jade and Fire Red is supposed to be releasing. I don't believe that that'll actually be happening because I haven't seen anything, but who knows? I don't know why they keep trying to push the slow top five on this. It's happened. This is like the fourth or fifth time they've tried it. <laughs> I remember when they first came out with the low top five in 2006, it wasn't good then. It wasn't good in 2014, 15, 16. Now, I, I just, I don't know why they keep pushing it. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie. Those girls that can hoop, if those would have been a regular five, even though they were for women, I would have tried to find a woman's 12 and that's five. I could fit it, but nah. I just, I don't get it. I don't like the Dornbeckers. I don't like these. I just don't like it. I don't like low fives at all. Those girls that hoop, you know, that would normally be right down my alley if it was a regular five. I would have got them. Um, they're sitting right now on the Nike website. I could get them with a discount and I'm still not going to get them. <sighs> That's how you know you don't fuck with some shit. Like, nigga, I get this shit for $50, $60 less and I'm still not fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, they're like $100 and I don't want them tired of the shit man yeah i just i don't like low fives um and then also what's actually releasing they're already loaded on the sneakers app is the women's air jordan 3 neapolitan for 200 dollars um interesting shoe i guess but nothing i have to have so i'll be passing on those yeah you say that now but again if you have the mochas do you really need these do you I need them? Have, I don't I know have them. Up, I still don't need these. It, it, I just, yeah, nah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure they probably aren't gonna make these in threes. I have to have an eleven and a half at least, or a twelve. So they're probably not even making them for my size anyway. And I don't have the newer mochas. I have the O one mochas. So I like the idea of it I guess but again if you have a regular mocha you don't need this it's just kind of um, unnecessary it's an unnecessary release to me I mean this could be a white cement three or some other three that people actually care about instead of them coming up with new shit that's really just old shit with a twist so I'll put a little pepper on it that's all that is put a little pepper on it a little pepper huh or you know what I say, put some sarsaparilla on it, some hasa pepper, something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's all this is. Yeah. It's a fucking mocha with a pink side, pink midsole thing. Mm -hmm. Locked in uh, lay 787 said, all it takes is one photo, and then boom, everyone's mind changed. <laughs> That's true. That's the hype. That's the hype. Mm -hmm. A little paprika. That's what I'm saying. Sprinkle it on mm -hmm. there. All right, last released for the week on Saturday is the Jordan 11 Low 72 and 10. I didn't like the regular 72 and 10, so I definitely don't have to have these. Pass. Yeah, you know, I saw 
72 and 10s at the uh the garage sale we had before we left Cleveland. So you already know. I mean, you breathe on them bitches hard and the fucking bottom turned yellow. So these will probably be the same. Same shitty quality. I'm cool. Pass. Slam dunk. Yeah. Wow. Lock the lace uh, 787 said, I don't think it was needed. I sold my 72 with 10. So, yeah. I don't know why they're putting them out in a low top form. But, yeah, definitely passing on those. Like, I don't oh, even miss them. Just hopped in. Hey. And who is that? Oh, Tasha. Hey, Tasha. Yeah. I'm not seeing any. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tasha. How you doing? Yeah. I, I don't... I, I, I don't even miss the bitches. Yeah. You complain about anything that went that went uh, missing or got sold. So if you don't even care about them, that speaks volumes. I, I don't really feel like I complain that much about the shoes themselves. Those tuned airs was a hard L, and you helped me replace them. Shout out to the homie Mike Simpson. What's up, sneaker chick? But, you know, it's just the fact that it happened. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, I don't even miss them bitches. I, I don't even think about them. So, nope. Cause they're not raw. Thanks, Tasha. They're not raw. They're not. I know what they symbolize, but the shoe is. Got itself. a pair of black and reds for that. Yeah. Same shit. All right. So that was the last release for the week. And other sneaker news the Amaman Year 2s have been pushed back. Release date is still to be determined, but you can still enter raffles for them both in store and online. I don't know when they'll be closing those raffles, but there is still chance and opportunity. This is similar to when the uh, Strawberry Milk Dunks release, right? They pushed them back um, and added more opportunity and time for people to get into the raffle. So, um, this is a shoe that I have not entered the raffle for. You also have not entered the raffle for. We've decided that we just don't want them. I just feel like I'm, if I'm buying them, I'm buying them only because they're out of my mind. Yeah, like, it's still not the threes. To me, these are more like the ones where it's just, eh, it'd be nice to have them. But that money, man, $250, $225, well, that's really $250 after tax and shipping and everything, so. I just, yeah, they're gonna be at least two fifty with taxes and shipping. Because that's the thing. Like, even if you win the in store raffle, they still ship them to you. They don't let you pick them up. So I think they charge twenty dollars for shipping. See, I don't like that already. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, I just, I don't know. Like. I don't know. I just don't care about them. I don't know what it is. They're just not. They're not raw to me. And I love tubes. Yeah. You know this. I've always been wearing tubes ever since we've been together. So. Yeah. But, yeah. They're just not raw. Yeah, it's not a shoe I need to have. So I'll definitely be passing on those. Um, In other news, Melody is little uh, Melody is shiny, um, a shiny web um page or not the page the instagram page posted a video um teasing a jordan collab there was only a box there's no information in terms of what the shoe is what it looks like the colors um but i'm excited i'm excited to see what it'll be it's probably gonna be a two <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, if Thank it's a two, it, it'll depend on if I want it or not. Like, if I like how it comes out, that's not going to hinder like, me. You got every other one. Like, you're not going to get this one, too. Well, I, mean, I don't want I, Listen, I still get Melody Ashani and Alele May mixed up. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You have all of the Alele Mays. Mm -hmm. Only some of the Melody Ashanis. My bad. Mm hmm. I want the yeah. Malayli for myself. Women's 13. Huh? Which Alayli made the sixes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted them before you had them. Yeah. 
Um, Clark. in terms of the Melody Asani, as soon as I know anything about it, I'm gonna be making a determination on hard hard. I'm gonna go for them, but we will see. We will see. Y'all that hard cheek. What? What? You hard cheek. No, get them just for- because. The only way you wouldn't go for them is if there was some whack ass team, Jordan. Just, just like a some shit that you just don't fuck with a Vin Baker or Eddie Jones, a Michael Finley, Ray Allen kind of shoe. If it's any retro, you go go for it. Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, you have every I number. See Jordan. how it looks. I can't just go for it just because. Exactly, I have to Key. See how it she looks. gonna get? She gonna get? Them. She know too. If they hard, yes, but if they trash, I'm not going to get them. You act like I just go for everything, like I'm some weird ass hype beast. Don't do that to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> if that was the case, I would have all. I would be trying to go for these, um, them jowned things and all. Like I'm not going for none of this stuff. I feel like y'all boxes that come to the house. My shit be old shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like old shit. How much was them? Twenty five dollars. You be coming with all the new shit. Look at my YouTube page. All that new shit is your shit. So I'm not saying you a hype piece. I just I have to get what I like. I didn't try to get them scissor Crocs, did I? But you don't like Crocs. It's levels to hype beastism. If it's a Malayli Bay or Melody and Shoddy shit and it's raw, or if Vashti came back and said, bitch, if they brought the Vashti twos back, you would get them bitches. See, I wouldn't even go crazy for them. What I would do is try to get my friend Keandra up here because I know how bad she wants them. I would enter for her. Let everybody, everybody in the comments is, is on your side, like usual. What's up, Dre? <laughs> What's up, Say It Ain't SEO? Oh, man. You a hater. I'm just an old cantankerous black man trying to make it in America and try to get some of these sneakers. That's all I am. Yeah. Hey, Dre. Um, other sneaker news. Yesterday, there was a picture released of the most ridiculous shit I've seen in a while. It was a mash. It was a Jordan shoe. Uh, I don't even know what it's going to be called, but it was a mashup of the 6, the 7, the 8, 11, 12 and 14 and it looks like pure shit um i don't even know what it's called i don't know when it's gonna be releasing it's been making its way around the internet ain't no way in hell so what, what, if that's, what if that's the melody of shiny shoe you think i'm getting that shit i bet you'll get it in the right color way like oh it's olive and red or some shit let me cop it they only made 500 of them I'm getting three number three forty six. Why do you keep paying me like I'm a hype beast? What is wrong with you? Hey. I am done with you, man. You know, I'm telling you, you you know, man, that would be crazy if that was the shoe. I'd be fucked up. I'd be laughing my ass off. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna clap. <laughs> Ooh, let's, let's let's not put that in the universe. I'm nah, good. either I, I bet you her shoe. It's either gonna be a two or a seven. It's not gonna be like no regular Jordan. It's not gonna be like a five or four or one. Some shit they've been coming out with uh, three. It's gonna be some other shit. Oh, my uncle had these at a cookout six years ago, and I just knew that when I Jordan, I would make them in this color. You know what I mean? Like it's be some shit like that or. Oh, this is for all the. This isn't any hate me saying. This is for all the women in the world. It's a uh, 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 inspired by earrings and shampoo or some shit. You know what I mean? It'd be something like that, man. I'm telling you. I really feel like you're trying to play me on Mother's Day. Like, and I need you to stop. <laughs> like, I'm not. I don't really feel you're a hype beast, but I just feel like with certain collabs. Like, you was like that with Ivy Park for a little bit. Where no, I was, was like, not. I bought what I bought like. Beyonce. Come on, okay, Let's be realistic. The first pair, 
I did not get the first pair at first. Remember, I got them on a reach back for the low. I didn't get those. The second pair was a fucking Volt Ultra Boost. That is me in a shoe form. Why would I not want a Volt Ultra Boost? Like, come on. So I got that pair. one. And the huh? next pair? And the, the next, next pair? pair was black and Volt. So I got that one. Then the other ones came out. I skipped the white one. I skipped the blue one. I skipped the peachy orange one. I skipped that second Volt one. I've skipped four better. pairs, and then I got the Valentine's Day pair. See, I honestly feel like you're only not getting them because you don't want to give me the satisfaction of being able to talk shit as your husband. I Spot don't need... Love. Why do I need an all-navy blue Ultra Boost? I have an all-navy blue Ultra Boost. It's a Parley, but it was from the Goodwill. Why do I need an all-white Ultra Boost? I mean, we live in the country now. You got to swag with the all-whites. What you mean? Man, bye. I don't like, I didn't like none of them shoes, so I did not buy them. You know, not me. if I like something and I really want it, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, so that's the same thing with me. If I like something and I want it, I'm going to buy it. You just be buying anything. You do. I'm on Tezo 3300s. Y'all go see about them. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is these on the table right here? They're not even your size, sir. What are you talking about? These Converse's that you bought. You just be buying anything. They're not even your size. What do you mean? They're an 11 and a half. They're a women's. Oh, they are. Okay. But like, what the fuck? What you is see, this? Y'all see how she was trying to get me right there? You see it? Like, why would I buy a shoe that's not my size? Because you be thirsty to have stuff. I don't even know why like, you... Why you not even raw. Like, why did you spend money on these? Well, they were $18, and they were a collab with... See, you just be buying anything. You can put that $18 towards the next pair you want. But I already have... Okay. <sighs> Listen, I don't really expect you to understand, you know what I mean, like, why I do some of the things I do. But if... I, I, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say this for everybody on here. The 10 people that's watching <laughs> with Converse, because I have all of the regular colors and Chuck 70 and regular, I am a bit of a hype beast. If we get any kind of collabs that run through by hand and they're not completely, utterly ridiculous, like an ambush with the furry, even though I will wear them too, um, I'm probably going to get it if it's not too much. It's like six pairs at work right now. I won't. But I'm just using to using restraint i did buy the joe fresh goods hoodie i would have got you one but you said you ain't want it so i didn't get you one it was 24 dollars. it's a hundred dollar hoodie i don't need that hoodie i have the t-shirt and the shoes that's enough completely different but you know you it's cool you know you just be buying anything i mean i can say the same thing for you it's all kinds of hold on let me where, where are you where is that puma thing where, where is that I, you know what? You know what? I'm wearing them week after next. I'm wearing them bitches week after next because you always bring them up talking shit about that one pair of Pumas. I like them shoes and I am going to wear them. There's nothing wrong with them shoes. See how they got them nice embroidered flowers on there? You had these bitches for like over a year. You ain't, the bitches ain't even been looked at. Sir, sir, you have shoes that have not been undead stacked that are older than our fucking son. You cannot talk to me about having shoes for more than a year and not wearing them. And it, it's barely been a year, if that. What about the coat? The coat? You know what? Y'all, look, listen to this, y'all. I bought her a book, the Jay-Z Decoded book for Christmas in 2012. It's 2022. Bitch, ain't never been open. That's not true. I have opened it. I have skimmed it. I just didn't read it from beginning to fucking end. But while we talking shit, didn't I buy you Adobe? Um, what's the shit that you designed with? Photoshop. I've used it. It was on the old computer. No, no, fuck you have it. I bought you that. Uh -uh, I bought you that Photoshop and a laptop to go with it in two thousand and thirteen. You never used that shit. That's not true. 
You never use Photoshop. Show me what you made with it if you use that shit. Oh, I got plenty of stuff. And y'all know Photoshop with... ain't cheap. I got plenty what of stuff. What did you make with it? Huh? There's a bunch of pictures of me with different superimposing things, you know? No, the fuck you did not. You did not use fuck it. fuck I did. No, you did not. Hey, we'll see if I can go further back. Go further back. Um. Oh, what about the Jordan 23s? I sold them bitches. I've never they hurt them. my feet. What she had done, clapping. I love it. Boy, everybody's going in on these comments. Y'all just don't know. This is really real fault. With the like, off. This is your fault because it's Mother's Day. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's Sunday. I got to work tomorrow. And here you come with your shenanigans. I got to work tomorrow, too. I worked today. What do you mean? Yesterday and the day before that? Mother, I'm going to remember this when it's Father's Day. I'm going to remember this when it's Father's Day. We're going to be in Cleveland. Exactly. And I'm going to have a car. So you have fun. I'm going to just drive my car up. Are we taking two separate cars? Okay, cool. Fuck I'm glad it. I know. I'm dead if y'all in the other room talking about each other stuff. <laughs> hey, look, y'all. Yeah, she did mean that shit. So some things y'all just don't know. But it's all, this is all in fun. You know, we're not really, you know, fighting or whatever, you know. I'm just blessed to have a spouse here that shit talks me probably more than I should talk her. But I knew that going in, it was going to be that way. What? See, you should talk just as much as I do, if not more. You got to have somebody that you can, you First know, do. Thing in the morning, I open my eyes and you start talking shit to me. Like, what do you mean? I don't know about that. Don't eat anything she prepares oh. for 48 hours. <laughs> Oh, oh man. man. I, I came back from the ashes a couple of times. I'm like the damn Phoenix. This ain't nothing. Whatever, man. Anyway, in other sneaker news, we still got two more topics to touch on. The Salehi Benberry Crocs collab. They're releasing three more colorways. There's a light purple, a lime green, or volt, and white pair. Um, you know, I don't fuck with Crocs, so I'll be I mean, passing on about Crocs, but they're not even shoes. So, okay, you always be telling me that we need to talk about everything. We need to talk about everything. I be trying to skip stupid shit. And now I bring up these dusty-ass crocs and it's a problem. It's not necessarily a problem, but I, I just thought about it now. Like, you know, I mean, I, I guess some of our audience may want them. So, continue. Yeah, some people uh, wear crocs. I don't, but people do. This is a crock free household. Liza came in with some of the bitches on my friend. Let me use these. The bitches getting thrown in the street. Nah, slides and slides only. We've talked about golf shoes before. I didn't see nothing coming this week. I did see something that's supposed to be coming like in the next couple weeks, but they have been releasing a lot of golf shoes um, lately. Oh, let me say this. So when I was walking through the Tiger Outlets yesterday, I'm looking through the Nike window, and it's some black and red fours on the air cap. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> like, it's, it's no way. And it was the it was the damn golf shoe. I'm like, oh. I'm like, well, fuck, it's got a jet band on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out, like, oh, man. No, remember so, you said you could wear them anyway. They ain't that bad. No, no, no. The Air Maxes, you could do that with. You can't do that with the Jordans. They got the little metal shits on the bottom, the little twisters that look like propellers but the air maxes you can wear them casually and the jordan one golfs you can wear casually just not any of the other retros <laughs> okay locked and lay said what's your go-to house shoes we wear nike slides in the house yeah and i, I got these slides too i have one pair i have an, i have a pair of adidas slides a pair of jordan slides and a pair of nike slides so whichever ones is around first yeah, see, she said do a soul swap on them golf fours. <laughs> Cost just as much as just buy the whole other pair. Shit. 
Get a pair. You a used pair for? Well, I can. You can't. Things be taxing for fours in your size, Todd. Yeah. I was I hoping there was some real fours. I'd be like, oh, here, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> you didn't know I had these for you. Oh man, Wiley. Um, I did find a shoe that I want though. If you want to put in on it, if you want to give me one more gift, you know. Right. What shoe? What what shoe is it? Before we go any further, it's a pair of Kyrie Moms the Sixes. Kyrie Sixes. Yeah. I mean, are they raw? Yeah, I like them. They're the mom shoes. I know that this shoe exists, but I can't remember what it looks like. I mean, all my Kyrie sixes are IDs, so I ain't fuck with none of the released colors. Okay, I'll show you a picture of them. But anyway, the uh, <laughs> last thing we were going to touch on is that images of the Air Max One collab with Casina 25th anniversary is um, have been released, so... I really like um, the way these came out. I put them in the story. Um, Locked and Lace. It, they're the red pair. Well, she might think you're talking about the ones that you got already, the sneaker room. The, um, well, I don't know. It's the, uh, these are sevens. These are sevens. They're drastically different. The other mm -hmm. pairs are like red. Between red, black, white, they usually have some gold on there. Those are based off Mother Nature, so they're drastically different than the other pairs that have come out. But yeah, you can put in on them or something. But yeah, you liked those Air Max ones. They're like a navy blue, a burgundy, a little bit of burnt orange or something. Yeah, didn't they have some sort of hang tag or something, a ferret or something? Or a... Like a duck or something. I don't know what that uh, was. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times you know, that hang tag will put it over the top, but I don't know, man. I, I still, Air Max 1's being $150, man. That's, that's I'm still getting used to that. I mean, yeah. let me just with that tag. That might be 200 Yeah. Yeah, it's roses on one side, hearts on the other side. Yeah. I fuck with them. The Air Max Ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people were, are going to try to fuck with them. They, they, they look nice. They definitely look nice. So we'll see. I don't know what the release is going to look like. It might be some overseas only stuff. Like, who knows? But we will see. I got you, hubby. Got to put in on those. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> it's just her birthday, like you know. But just yeah. Man, <sighs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so that's it in terms of releases and sneaker news. What are you gonna go for this? The sixes, the BWs, uh, and there's something else. Um, you said you was gonna wait for the LeBrons to go down. Yeah, it wasn't. Price. It. Yeah, I mean, and even with the the chlorophylls, it's I don't know, man. My my pair is so clean. I don't really know if I need another pair, but they are tw uh, ten years old, so you know how that is. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about the Hello. Only thing I'm, I'm going for is the the Hello Kitty press those. I'm going for the sixes for you. I guess I'll go for the BWs for you since I already got my pair. And I think that's it. Like every oh, you wanted those nineties. Oh yeah. Yeah, but those, like I'm saying, I can see those getting returned at, at the Nike store uh, by us and me being able to actually get the discount on them. Now, if they come out on regular Nike and I can get the love off-rip, then I'll just get them then. 
Yeah. Yeah, but I think that's it for me. Like, I don't even, I don't want them threes or anything. So, we'll see. All right. What you got coming up this week? Let the people know. Uh, episode 81 of Shorty Sneaker Conversations will be on Tuesday, May 10th. Um, my guest is Dr. Sneakers 0324. So that will be on Tuesday and um, may try to squeeze another episode in, episode 82, on Thursday, possibly. But that's really it um, so far. You know, the only other thing I have going on this week is loving you and trying to stay black. I can't tell. Text me, Chris, if you need to go for those sixes. I appreciate that, Carl. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. Okay. Well, I don't have anything coming up this week, but I am finalizing the guest list for Lady Sneaker Conversations. It'll probably be within the next two weeks. Um, we will be in Baltimore in about two weeks. We're leaving on, what, the 20th? I believe to go there um, for the sneaker exhibit on the 19th for the sneaker exhibit that's going to be on, I believe the that Sunday the 22nd. Um, so we will be in Baltimore trying to figure out what shoes and outfits we are taking for our, our trip. Um, and then next week, well, tomorrow, really, I decided to do a week of cartoon themed sneakers um, I'm trying to do more themes so I can like get my shoes into rotation and wear some of my stuff. So obviously I'm gonna have to do a week of flowered shoes to appease my husband so I can wear that pair of pumas he always brings up. Um, uh, other stuff I can pull, but you don't wear. But you know, like mm -hmm. when 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 these metal maxes are gonna make it, make it. You know what I'm saying? Where where they at? Well, I was trying to wear them during Air Max month, but you told me I couldn't because they wasn't real Air Maxes. Well, they're trainers. They're not runners. But, you know, whatever. But okay. they literally say Air Max on them. So I was going to wear them, and you discouraged me. So Ooh, I'll wear them at some point. I had a blast from the past. It was the last time you wore these Ice 90s. These were hot back in the day. You know what I'm saying? When have you worn yours? My Ice 90s? Mm-hmm. I don't have that color. You have the blue version. When have you worn yours? Honestly, those are the, the, the 90 was the shoe I sold the most at the garage sale. I don't even know if I had them bitches anymore. They may be here. They may not be. I, I have to go look. I, I really don't know. Which means you haven't even thought about wearing them because you don't even know. If I you have sold Top my point. Volt Ice pair to your cousin. Mm -hmm. So I know where that pair is. Mm -hmm. They glow in the dark. I should have kept them. <sighs> but it's cool. Right. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, as always, for tuning in with us. We will be back next Sunday for our next episode of Purchase or Pass. Again, happy Mother's Day to everyone, as well as have a wonderful, wonderful week. The next episode will be early. What, 10 in the morning again? 10 Nine. in the morning? 9 in the morning. Ooh. Jesus. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.